for U Albany men's basketball presented by Jersey Mike's. And tonight we are at the Hudson Valley Community College, the temporary home of the U Albany men's basketball team this season because of renovations to SEFQ Arena. And tonight they take on Division Three Union College. And I'm joined by Michael Johnson, Jr. MJ, good to see you. Good to see you too, Rod. It'll be a, a U Albany team that is uh, coming off a hard-fought loss at the MVP Arena against uh, Sienna, and a Union team that is uh, that is 0 and 2. They give up a lot of points, but in their first two games, they they score a lot of points. Yeah. They have a lot of offense going on here. Yeah, Union's got a high-powered offense. That's one thing for sure, Rod. And uh, U Albany coming off a game where they had a really solid first half. That's when this has scoring drop midway through the second half. We'll see if a guy like Gerald Drumgool will be uh, someone the offense revolves around here tonight. Yeah, Gerald uh, Drumgool has really played well. 22 points. He yeah. shot the three well so far this season. And for Union College, uh, Mike Manley has done a nice job this year. He's averaging 18 points a game. Again, it's a short uh, yeah. sample size, but still under Chris Murphy in his 10th year, uh, Mike Manley has been good. And Brian Noon is another player to watch for tonight, at least on the defensive side. He's probably their best defensive player. But Manley is their, is their best shooter, not afraid to come down and knock down some threes. And we know what the three-point shot can mean in any game, right? Yeah, yeah. Manley's a major focal point of this offense, right? The six-foot senior guard is uh, coming off a 25-point game. Uh, after the loss at home against Gordon Rice. He's someone that's, you know, who's going to have that matchup on uh, 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 Albany, right? Is it going to be a day one? Davis, we'll have to see how the individual, uh, individual matchups come through. Now, let's take a look at the, uh, again, it's very early, but here's what we've got so far in the America East, Binghamton and Bryant and New Hampshire, uh, all 2-0, and UMass a little 2-1, and one. Maine, UMBC, and yep. Vermont 1-1, one and one. Albany 1-2. One and two. They have the win over Immaculata College, a loss to Siena, and uh, the loss to Towson, although they played exceptionally well in the Towson game, a uh, team that was picked to win the CAA Conference. Union College will start Mike Manley, Brian Noon, Justin Regis, uh, Edward Baptiste, and uh, Aaron Cummings. We'll see what you Albany goes with tonight. And there's there's Drumgool, yep. Trey Hutchison, such a tough competitor, defensive player. We really like what we've seen early on from Jonathan Beagle. Looks like Juice is getting the start tonight. Sarju Patel and Daquan Davis, I think, has been impressive too in the early portion of this game. A young man who played at the Division Three level. He knows all about you know, making the transition now and playing Division One. Boy, he's looked every bit the Division One player. Love his energy. He has been terrific and a lot of offense uh, early in the game against Siena down at MVP Arena. Just underway, you Albany in that man-to-man uh, -man defense. In the lane, Regis. And an early turnover against Union on a cut by Brian Noon. Goes out of bounds and we'll see what Albany does here offensively. They came out and shot the ball exceptionally well. Right. You know, at the MVP Arena on Saturday night. Then they had that long that long drought, Michael, in the in the second half. Yeah. Uh, that was costly. Like a nine minute drought when they could not get a bucket. And that was the difference. Otherwise, really terrific performance. The miss by Davis. Quick outlet in transition for Union. Want to see how patient Union is here tonight in their offensive sets, or are they going to be a team that likes to jack up the threes? Kind of run and gun. It's a good move into the lane. Couldn't finish by Baptiste, the junior, six foot three out of Austin, Texas. Hutchison feeds down low. That's stolen, but Beagle got it right back and scores. Jonathan Beagle played at uh, St. Thomas Moore, local product from Hudson Falls. Good looking freshman at six foot nine. That's a nice play by Beagle, bailing out Hutchison, Raj. Uh, Beagle's going to have a terrific pro, uh, terrific uh, career here at the University of Albany, no doubt about it. Nice rebound put back on the, uh, on the inside. And that was Aaron Cummings, a 6'5 freshman. Physical kid, that kid will play the four or the five tonight for Chris Murphy in his 10th season. Bounce pass into Beagle, gets away. That left wing entry feed on the bounce, a little bit too strong. 
A couple passes you don't see Hutchison make mistakes on. Back-to-back possessions, Raj. Uh, first one, Beagle bails him out. That one, uh, Beagle unable to get it. This is a game where uh, Albany's coming off a Siena game at the MVP arena in front of, what, 9,500 fans. Uh, not making any excuses for trying to see if, if Albany starts this game quickly, <laughs> but you're talking about as much hype as that game got, and it was just Saturday night. It's a one-day prep, and yeah. now you're right back here against a union team, and this is like their season. I mean, these young men are just so much looking forward to getting an opportunity to play against the Division I team, the Division I team in their backyard. And in talking with Chris Murphy today, he was he was really grateful for Dwayne Killings to give uh, his team an opportunity, you know, to tonight. So, without question, Raj. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, a trick of a truth for these Union guys to be able to take on a D1 team, and they're going to give them all they have. But it's interesting to see how the tempo will be uh, throughout the game. Really, will they go fast? Or will they take their time? Yeah, there's a little 15 footer by Cummings. No good off the side iron. We're still tied at two. Beagle brings it up. Davis feeds out to Drumgool, and that is good for three. Gerald Drumgool, 6'5", senior from Rochester, New York, off to a good start this season, shooting from long range. Yeah, Roger, I feel like we're going to see a lot of threes uh, in this uh, for Gerald Drumgool so far this year. Bounce pass to Baptiste. Into the backcourt, and that is Manley, and that is the scouting report. He's a shooter, can make yep. threes, and he yep. made one there to tie the game at five. Coming off a 25-point performance, Raj. Aaron Reddish getting the start tonight, and with the basketball right at the foul line. Feeding Big O. I mean, Albany has a distinct size advantage in this game, and that's that could be there all night long, dropping it down in low to Jonathan Beagle. Yeah. The physicality for Beagle. It's hard to believe he's a freshman, but boy, did he uh, handle that pretty easily down low. He showed me in game one against Towson all I needed to know if, if Beagle was going to be tough. You know, he's, a, he's a, definitely he's got the toughness. There's no question Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. It's an offensive foul called on uh, Aaron Reddish on the drive. I think that's going to lead us to uh, our first timeout. 15.54 to go in the first half. And New Albany leads Union 7-5 on ESPN+. It took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. Then we took a hard left in East Africa. A right at Baja. A 180 in the empty quarter. And that 65 degree incline at Hell's Revenge. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. We should be more sustainable. Amazon Business can steer us toward more sustainable products. I feel good. What's next? It's a car that runs on positive vibes. I love people. Amazon Business, partnering with enterprise leaders. Roger Wylan, Michael Johnson Jr. back with you at HBCC here in Albany, New York. Bobby Jordan is the acting head coach tonight. He's done a nice job filling in for Dwayne Killings, who's serving the fifth and final game of his suspension. But I tell you what, Bobby Jordan animated on those sidelines too, kind of like DK. You know, yeah. <laughs> they both he represent- they both get into it, don't they? Michael? He represents DK and the university <laughs> in this program very well with that high energy. And he brings. Uh, he brings a, a lot of experience and yes. a lot of knowledge and a tremendous addition to the staff here under Dwayne Killings at the University of Albany. Union ball out of the timeout. They're down by two. U Albany with a 7 5 lead, 15 40 to go in the first half. Left wing noon drops it down in low. Spinning inside is Baptiste. Lost control of the ball. Gets it back. Four to shoot. And they don't get the shot off. Shot clock violation. That was Lamar 
Furmore, the freshman, into the lane and a couple of mishandles with the ball. They just couldn't yeah. get that shot up. And there's a, a look at Chris Murphy in his 10th season. Won a couple of league titles. NCAA tournament. He's He, he was a player yeah, he was. and a good player at Class Union College. Right. Yeah, it's, uh... He's really done well. Reddish for three, and he's got it. Left wing three by Aaron Reddish, and you all, but he jumps out to a 10-5 lead. Similar form to his brother, Cam Reddish, uh, with the New York Knicks there, Raj. Good-looking stroke from Aaron Reddish early. Manley dribbling around the double team. New Albany with good pressure defense. Cummings with the right hand in the lane. No good. Beagle gets the rebound. And they'll push. Daquan Davis. Good defense on that play from Davis, Very quick in transition. Three-point shot. Nymere Little. Little too strong. Beagle gets the rebound. Put back is no good. But contact the foul. And he'll have a chance to make a couple of foul shots. And upset with himself because he... He didn't get that put back when he was right there. Very close, but boy, you can tell in this game the the, the main problem Union is going to have is finding a guy that can match up with uh, with Jonathan Beagle, right? The size advantage is there. I don't think that player exists tonight, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and, and and again, I, I had a nice cont- uh, chat with Chris Murphy today, and he's like, we're, we definitely are undersized, so we're going to play hard, we're going to play tough, we're going to compete, and he said, that's really all I can ask from my guys. Substitutions as Davis goes out, Drumgool goes out, Marcus Jackson, their local player right there, 44, there played under Brian Fruscio at uh, Albany Academy, one of, a, one of our News Channel 13 All-Star players. We're always proud to see our All-Star, All-Stars go Division One and get an opportunity. If you can keep them in the backyard, even better. Marcus stayed local. Also in the lineup is Sarju Patel. The uh, transfer from Cornell, grad student, 6'3", out of Daleville, Virginia. And he can shoot it. We know that. We saw him hit a couple of big shots at MVP Arena on Saturday night. Reddish comes up with the block. Manley right into the rim, not afraid on that drive. And off the glass and in, that's Mike Manley from Pleasantville, New York, the senior. And so far averaging 18 points a game. That was in and out. Out by Nymere Little. Yeah, Mike Manley, fearless attack to the rim. Not afraid, clearly, early in this game. One of the more confident scorers on this Union Dutchman team. 13.45 to go in the first half. 11-7. Nice little fake down low. And the bucket is good by Aiden McGee. 6'4 sophomore. He was a baseball kid, Michael, that came over and, and is playing dual sports at Union College. Really good baseball player from Holden, Massachusetts. Quite the good athlete. Nice little move down low, Raj. Create a little separation. Two-point game. Little in the paint. Goes up strong as it blocked. But you all, but he gets it back. Good hustle by Little to save it then from going out of bounds. Juice feeds off to Jackson. His three-point shot is off the mark. Good hustle by Patel to save it, but saves it into Union College. And the right idea, Manley wanted to hit the uh, cutting player on his team, uh, Fulmore. But Fulmore did not. You know how you're supposed to break at that? That foul line extended to me is always when you break. The point guard's in the middle. You break at the foul line extended, and that's how it always works. I'm sure I'm not telling Chris Murphy anything (laughs) he doesn't know. But I I think the player, Fulmore, stopped, and Manley had him going in. He did. For... (laughs) <laughs> a lay and off a fast break. Your message is clear, Raj. <laughs> Reddish into Kettner. Huss has checked in. Jackson, there we go. Marcus Jackson for three from the right wing. And New Albany takes a 13-9 lead. Good for Jackson to see one go through after a miss early. Not afraid to shoot a confident young player. And I think Jackson can defend at a high level, too. Tyreek Kettner, man, you're talking about somebody that can rule the inside with his size. Juice, too strong, and it goes out of bounds off of Kettner. It'll be Union Dutchman ball. Justin Regis checking back in for Union, replaces Lamar Fulmer. 
Coach uh, Murphy told me they'll play six, seven, eight, about ten guys tonight. Yeah. He's got ten guys in his rotation. Deep team for sure for, for Coach Murphy. A lot of guys to you turn Albany to. Albany with a little press here. Noon works it up against Patel. And we've got a whistle here and a foul on Albany. That's going to go against uh, Malik Edmead. The 5'10 juniors just came into the game too. You Albany's had a, they, they play every every player right now. I mean that's their their rotation. They're giving everybody in this non-conference early portion of their season and certainly against some Division three schools a chance to showcase what they can do. Absolutely right, playing free early. And Union's had a couple of drives, Raj, where they've attacked the rim without fear. Regis shot clock at four. If they get this shot off at two, at one, and they got it off by Aiden McGee and a nice rebound on the inside by Edward Baptiste. 6'3", junior out of Austin, Texas. Young man can run the floor. We got a foul on the inside on Union. It'll send Kettner to the line. We get ourselves to a timeout here. 11.29 to go in the first half. And it's U Albany 13 and Union 11 on ESPN Plus. It took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. Then we took a hard left in East Africa. A right at Baja. A 180 in the empty quarter. And that 65 degree incline at Hell's Revenge. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. It was a night at the Home Depot Thank you. at every location. A night when our stores see a grand transformation. We bring out the tools you really do need, like snowmen and string lights and plenty of trees. We work through the night preparing our splendor for Black Friday savings all through November. And what you do next is always fantastic. Because we have the tools to make your holiday magic. The Home Depot. How doers get more done. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. Everyone is ready for Monday Night Football. The Washington Commanders meet the Eagles. Get set for Liberty League play this season. So the five on the floor right now, Patel, Jackson, Reddish, Kettner, and Ed Mead. And it's going to be Huss, the 6'7 sophomore out of South Philadelphia, at the line, shooting two shots for you, Albany, in a two point game, 13 to 11, with 11.29 to go in the opening half. The uh, temporary home for the U Albany Great Danes here at Hudson Valley Community College. You know what? The, the, there, there are a lot worse places you could play. I mean, this is a nice facility, a, a facility that uh, I've I've been at many a times for basketball games on the high school level, and they've got a lot of room here to put fans in the seats. Parking's pretty good, and it, you know what? I think it's going to be worth the wait because you saw the pictures. Oh yeah, of what what it will look like at uh, SEFQ, SEFQ, a division of Broadview Arena, whatever the final name becomes. Uh, people are going to love it in November of next year in the lane and that drops and that ties the game that's that's edward baptiste up it's a one-point game because huss made two foul shots 14 <laughs> 13 you albany with the lead but union doing a good job here early to hang in there a three-point shot is good in a right corner by aaron reddish shot it right over baptiste 17 13 quick release for reddish right uh, i get another pretty shot he gets it off quick Tough for anybody to really get to him on the perimeter. I like the way Reddish played yeah. last year. I thought he had some really good games, especially late in the season. Regis for three, no good. Jackson gets the rebound. 
and Meade can fly up the court. That pass, though, a little too strong and probably one that Coach Jordan would say was ill-advised. Yeah. And a turnover against you all. But, yeah, Reddish, I tell you what, he had some really good games, I think, second half of the season last year as a freshman that showed everybody, including Dwayne Killings, that he's going he's gonna to work into a very nice player in this program and have a good sophomore season. Drum goal with the steal, and then a foul as Reddish was in the lane. He's fouled by Manley. Non-shooting foul. First foul on Manley, fourth team foul. Drum Ghoul will inbound underneath his own bucket. Gets it into Ed Mead, and he nails the jumper. Little 15-footer there. Knocked it home. Malik 5'10", junior from Deer Park, New York. Played at Merrimack. 1913, Great Danes. Union breaks the press. Driving in, <laughs> shot block. Good hustle on the follow. By Brian Noon. That's how you transfer a play. And you make sure you're hustling on a missed shot. 19-15. Kettner down inside. Had his shot blocked by McGee. Outlet Manley. Up ahead and it was too strong of a pass. And it went out of bounds off of Union and a turnover. And there's Haas Tyree Kettner. Tell you what, if he can stay out of foul trouble and finish a few shots down inside, he he is a big body, oh, yeah. tough, hard nosed player. And as you could ask uh, Coach Killings, this he's a tough matchup. Yes, he is. He's very intimidating to be able to guard one on one, let alone even with a double team with his size, Raj. And they're going to feed him the ball right now, and he goes into the lane, up with the left hand, and scores. And there it is. McGee tried to take the charge yeah, there. Not going to get that call. <laughs> and Huss scores down in the blocks, down in the paint, 21-15. Straight to the rim, and that's Haas hustling back with the block from behind on the drive by Noon. Aaron Cummings is checked back in. Coach Murphy with a few words for... Aiden McGee, coach of these guys up. 9.03 to go. You all be up by six. Manley bounce pass in. It's not kicked away by Reddish. And if you recall in the uh, Immaculata game, Immaculata hung around as a six yes, point game at the half. And then in the second half, you all, but he turned up the defense, got some easy buckets off of turnovers, and pulled away for the easy win. Good block by Drumgool. Good play. On McGee. And Drumgool brings it up the left, the, the right wing, into the right corner to Davis. Back out to Drumgool, top of the circle. Into the left corner, Reddish. And on the drive, he stepped out of bounds. I think he might have stepped on the end line there, making the move. To the hoop. Jonathan Beagle back into the game and he replaces Kettner. So MJ and I are doing this game with headsets on, but neither of us can hear each other. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm reading your lips, MJ. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm glad we're on the same page. And, and the fact that we do a sports talk show together, we probably won't step on each other that much. No, no. Manley gets loose for a three. That's his shot. No good. Drumgool fighting hard for that rebound along with Baptiste. It's out of bounds That's off good. of off of a Union, they say. It'll be U Albany ball. That's good effort by Gerald Drumgool. Wow. So Daquan Davis will inbound. Willamica has checked in. Yeah. Six foot sophomore. From Syracuse, he's got the basketball to drum goal. And a whistle away from the ball. We're going to have a foul on Will Amica. And a turnover against the Great Danes. Yeah. 
Davis, man-to-man defense guarding Fulmer. The freshman. Bounce pass to the senior, Manley. And Willamica right in him. Guarding him very closely in a man-to-man. Spinning inside and losing control of the ball. They're going to call a foul. Are they getting Beagle with a foul here? Nope, that's going to be on... uh, they're calling that on drum goal. I'm, I'm not sure who they're calling that on. Oh, they, oh, they got drum goal. Okay. It's either drum goal or, or beagle. And they've gone to another timeout. Six point game. 21 50. Leader in career points. Eleanor Perrier with her first title at the mile distance. Dorothy from the parking lot. And the Black Bears have upset Stanford. Shuck it off. In college basketball, UNBC makes history. Every time you order a hot sub from Jersey Mike's, it's grilled fresh right in front of you. The sizzling, the chopping, the spatula. That's why I bring this. I call it dinner and a show. Look at that sizzle. Mm. Number 17 for Danny. Oh, that's mine. Gotta go, Aaron. Grilled right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. At the University at Albany, we see greatness in you. There's passion and purpose, a fierce curiosity, ready to blaze big ideas and tackle the tough questions. We see grit, drive, determination. The University at Albany is home for dreamers and achievers just like you. The world needs greatness, and you are one of the greats. You get yourself to class. You show up for meetings, at home and at work. Your flex is making time for yourself and your community, no matter what. Soon, CDTA will introduce its biggest flex yet, with added mobility options that let you bike, scoot, and share. Wherever you go, however you choose to get there, you can count on CDTA. We're here to keep you safe and the region moving forward. And we are back on ESPN Plus. Roger Wyman, Michael Johnson, Jr. Courtside at Hudson Valley Community College. 21-15 U Albany. 7.41 to go in the first half. And at the line is Aaron Cummings, freshman from Monroe, Connecticut. And he's got the first. And it's 21-16. One more for Cummings. And it's also good. So the Dutchman hanging around. 21 17, 7.39 to go. Juice Patel. Sarju Patel in the game. Davis to Drumgool. That's his shot. A little strong there, but Patel tried to keep it alive and did. But it ends up in the hands of Noon. Cummings with the left hand off the glass. No good. Cummings gets the rebound. Right back on the left wing to uh, Fulmer. And Fulmer with the dribble right between the circles. Guarded by Patel. Takes Patel in on the left side and a reach-in foul on Juice. <laughs> Fulmer will inbound underneath his own bucket. Gets it into Manley. That's the shooter, and that's what he does. Manley shoots, and he scores. The senior makes it a two-point game again, 21-19. Guy that you all, but he can't afford to, to leave open, Raj. Mike Manley will make you pay in a lot of different ways. Well, the scouting report has a big shooter on it, and he can shoot. And so can Patel. Off the mark there, Bigel getting the rebound inside, up off the glass. No good. Follow, no good. Well, he had two looks at the finish by Jonathan Biggle. Neither, neither one of them would drop. 
But that's the way to attack the glass and the rebounds, and we've seen that every game so far this season for the U Albany Great Danes. Good sign that Beagle's uh, relentless at the rim. Obviously, he's just going to be frustrated. Got to be able to finish when you're that close. Cummings guarded by Beagle. Hands it off to Noon. Noon on the right wing. Cross-court pass, Manley, the extra pass. And Noon with seven to shoot. Fulmer with the drive, and that's a block by Daquan Davis. Good defense by Davis. And Davis gets it right back in transition. Can't finish in there, but there is the finish by Jonathan Beagle off the miss by Daquan Davis, and New Albany has a 23-19 lead. Baptiste to Manley. Willamica on Manley. Manley with the drive with the left hand. No good. Rebound, Beagle. On the floor to get that loose ball. Drumgool's on the floor after it. That ball's still loose. And Noon comes up with it. Great hustle by both teams there, Raj, for the loose ball. Something both coaches, Chris Murphy and uh, Bobby Jordan, are going to appreciate. Cummings, crossover into the lane on Big and block from behind with 11 to shoot. Aaron Reddish is coming back in for the Great Danes. Juice goes out. Manley has it on the right wing. Reddish guarding him. Seven to shoot. Manley gets a screen. Right back on the in the lane and at the at the buzzer with the left hand. The bucket is good. It's Aiden McGee, 42, to make it a 30, a 23-21 game. Well, Union has played tough here in the first half. Down by just two. Drum goal. Lost control for a second. Got it back. Backing in on noon. Eight to shoot. Drum goal. Into the lane with the right hand and count the bucket. 25 21. Got to respect Noon's effort there, but Drumgool too strong. Had him the whole time. A little post up, simple turnaround floater, Raj. Noon, little backdoor cut. Count the bucket and one. Three point opportunity. And the foul is on Daquan Davis. And five, five team fouls, according to the scoreboard, on U Albany. Three on Union, and this is Noon with one shot to try to get his team within one. 4.17 to go in the first half, and the shot is up and good. Brian Noon, pretty good mid-range game for Chris Murphy's team. Murphy in his 10th season as the head coach at Union. Amika, right wing, up top to Drumgoal. High, low feed down into Beagle, and he is fouled as he goes up for the shot. Fouled by Fulmer, and two shots for Jonathan Beagle. And not easy for this young man coming into the program, and the reason is probably the media, probably guys like you and me, because we heard the, you know, hey, Beagle coming to the University at Albany where I think a lot of people feel like he could have played you know, even at an even higher level, but yeah. he wanted he wanted to come here. He liked Dwayne Killings. He liked his coaching staff a lot, um, and, and here he is. And so, you know, you hear all of that, right? Players hear that. A little bit of a pressure coming into the to the season, but I tell you what, he's handled it very well. Yeah, I tell you what, and also when you see the product, you see him play on the floor, you you respect how hard he competes. He, he's very good on the glass for the offensive and defensive rebounds, and he's very tough to stop. Misses the foul shot, and the rebound comes down to Aiden McGee, the 6'4 sophomore. Played well here in the first half. Union's done a nice job, and it turned that one over. And we're going to get to a timeout here with 3.54 to go in the first half. You Albany by one on ESPN+. Plus. With DirecTV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. 
What? Oh no. The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk! Oh, no, 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 no. Get your TV together. Call 1 800 Direct TV to save up to $120. Twas a night at the Home Depot Thank you. at every location. A night when our stores see a grand transformation. We bring out the tools you really do need, like snowmen and string lights and plenty of trees. We work through the night preparing our splendor for Black Friday savings all through November. And what you do next is always fantastic because we have the tools to make your holiday magic. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. Little Caesars Detroit style deep dish pizza has caramelized crispy cheese edges and a soft chewy center. Do you love it, Matthew Stafford? I'm not a walking billboard. Okay, never mind. Pizza, pizza. Get Little Caesars Detroit style deep dish pizza for just $8.99. Pizza, pizza. A great story has magic, power, and every once in a while, it has miracles. It's good. As luck would have it, that's our story. We are back at Hudson Valley Community College on this Monday night. Union Division Three school getting a chance to play against Division One, and right now they're hanging right in there with them, 25-24. With 3.54 to go. And I'm pretty sure Albany has the one-point lead. Uwalbany, yeah, you the Great Danes have a one-point lead, Raj. But again, in a situation like this, the Union Dutchmen have enough, absolutely nothing to lose. Right? D3 school taking on a D1 school. Right? And, and right now you got two senior guards, Mike Manley and Brian Noon, who clearly play fearless. Right? They attack the rim like you said, Raj. Noon likes more mid-range. Manley can score from anywhere. And, and you're seeing that right now for Union. Drum Ghoul will inbound into Ed Mead. And Manley is on him as he crosses midcourt. Final 348 of the first half. Japana Kellogg is into the lineup for UAlbany. 6'8 junior from Ames, Iowa. The drive by Reddish. Well, right at roll on the cylinder and out on the drive by Reddish. And a quick outlet up to noon. Manley has it left wing to Regis at the top of the key. Bounce pass over on the left side of McGee. Back to Regis. Now Manley with 10 to shoot. Steps in the lane. Puts up a shot. No good. Hustles to get his own rebound. And then turned it over. But that's a good hustle by Ed Mead. Drum goal. Ed Mead right back to Drum Ghoul. Right side. Going to put it up over Noon and hit the front of the iron. No good. Nice Kellogg rebound gets by Kellogg. a tough rebound and draws the foul. Tell you what, who can stop Malik Ed Mead in transition? He is fast. He's very quick. So still a non-shooting foul. Both teams with five team fouls. And 2.53 to go. Quick inbound to Reddish and he scores Aaron Reddish extends the UAlbany lead to 27-24 Regis bounce pass up top to Fulmer hands it off to Noon right back on the left side Manley for three that's off the mark rebound drum goal quick outlet left wing Davis cross court pass Ed Mead into the right corner Reddish for three that's good ball movement in transition there, and Reddish could not finish it off, but that's that looked good coming up the court, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Really good transition offense. You saw a lot of this in the first half against Sienna Raj. You want to get it quick. Regis with the drive. Bounce pass McGee. McGee gets stuck down low. Got three guys on him. Gets it away, and the shot by Baptiste is in and out. No good inside rebound to Daquan Davis. And we got an offensive foul on Kellogg with a push inside as they try to get the entry pass into him from the left wing. So still a three-point game. 152 remaining.
Noon inbounds to Regis. Ed Mead guarding him up the court. To Manley. To an open Noon for three, and he banks it in. I don't think he... Did he call bank I mean, there? Is the bank <laughs> open? Apparently. He, he called the... He did not call for bank, but they had banked in. He'll take it. Yeah. And we had a one-point game. 27-26, U Albany. 126 to go. Davis, top of the circle. They gave him some room. Puts up a three. High off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound Manley. Up ahead, running the floor and dunking it. U Albany does not get back in transition. And Edward Baptiste slams it home. And Union takes the lead. Ed Mead, the right back with the answer. And a 15-footer for Ed Mead. And U Albany back on top. 29-28. That's good transition basketball for both teams, Raj. First, the, the dunk by Baptiste. Great play. You Albany doesn't get back. Union capitalizes at good court vision. And then Ed Mead with a nice shot to take the lead, the pull-up jumper in the mid-range. And got a timeout with 54 seconds remaining. And that will not please Bobby Jordan when you get beat down the floor and you get dunked on. But again, this is one of those games where it's it's not an easy one for you Albany to rebound off for the the hype and the frenzy of Saturday night and 9,500 fans and you know obviously nowhere near that kind of a crowd or atmosphere here tonight at HVCC. But you can't you know Union Union is you can't take a team is, like this lightly is wound up here to to have a big game and compete at a high level. Yeah, what did Chris Murphy talk to you about, Rod? They can score. Union can score the basketball. It's going to come down to their late-game defense. But right now, again, just like Immaculata, you're seeing Union hang around in the first half. See if you Albany can get a couple of late buckets to try and get a little bit more separation heading into halftime. Here's Aiden McGee, number 42. Justin Regis. It'll be a side out. Noon will inbound in the half court. 54.4 seconds to go. And you Albany... Up by one, 29-28. Regis dribbles on the right wing. Hands it off to Noon. Guarded by Jackson. Right back to McGee, and it's a jump ball. Jump ball with McGee and New Albany, and the possession arrow favors the Great Danes. With 38 seconds to go. Fulmer comes in. Manley goes out. And they will press here the Great Danes. Interesting to they see how they, they can don't press guard, that They lead. don't guard Reddish. Reddish throws it into Kellogg. Back to Jackson. And Albany easily breaks the press. Marcus Jackson directing traffic on the right wing to Davis. 15 to shoot, about 21 seconds left in the half. Ed Mead on the left wing and left corner, Jackson. Jackson with the drive. Trying to get it inside lower to Kellogg and turned it over. I think Jackson might have had a good look there at the rim coming across there. And might have been able to put that in all by, all by himself. Tried to drop it down inside to Kellogg and turned it over. So 11 seconds to go. Union will have to go the length of the court here. They are down by one, 29-28. Union in, can hold here. Manley. Manley with the drive. And the layup coming with two seconds to go with the left hand. And that's going to give Union the lead. And they're charging off the court, if you can see the video here. Charging to the locker room. Union leads you Albany at halftime. 30 to 29 on ESPN Plus. With Direct TV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Whoops. Oh, no. The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk. <laughs> Get your TV together. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV to save up to $120. Twas a night at the Home Depot Thank you. at every location. A night when our stores see a grand transformation. 
we bring out the tools you really do need, like snowmen and string lights and plenty of trees. We work through the night preparing our splendor for Black Friday savings all through November. And what you do next is always fantastic because we have the tools to make your holiday magic. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. The winter sun, it's a ticking clock where shorter days mean a precious countdown has begun. So chase the sun and seize the season because when the days are at their shortest, it's on us to make them the fullest. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2022 Cadillac XT5 for around $4.89 per month. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. The Venture X Card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits, like two times miles on every purchase. The noise canceling. You're being too loud. Thank you. Good choice. Ooh. My lucky number. Earn five times miles on flights. Enjoy your stay. Going up? and 10 times miles now. on hotels through Capital One oh. Travel. Plus, get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. White wine, please. And maybe see the one and only Taylor Swift. Capital One, what's in your wallet? This could be an authentic Detroit-style deep dish pizza from Little Caesars. It certainly has the thickness. With caramelized crispy cheese edges. Mm. I'm mm. guessing it's... Mm -hmm. Detroit-style deep dish actually from Detroit, only $8.99. Pizza, pizza. A great story has magic power. And every once in a while, there's miracles. As luck would have it, that's our story. Even when I was really young, I was always really concerned about climate change. And then when I got into high school, I really enjoyed my chemistry and physics courses, and I wanted to find a way to combine both of those disciplines. I heard about the field of atmospheric chemistry. I'm like, that sounds perfect. Combine both. Sarah reached out to me when I was applying to PhD programs about uh, the cloud water chemistry stuff here at Whiteface, and I just knew that's absolutely perfect for what I'm interested in. I'm super lucky to have found a really good leader, you know, for the group to show with the, the other students how to do research and how to persevere through challenges. And he's got the good attitude. He's very optimistic, and he works hard. And so that's really valuable for building my group. When uh, we're in a cloud at the summit up here, we can actually study what clouds are doing to the chemical composition of the underlying aerosol. One of the biggest uncertainties uh, with future estimates of warming or cooling and climate change is how uh, aerosols interact with sunlight. They can uh, reflect sunlight, which leads to a cooling effect, but they can also absorb sunlight and actually warm the atmosphere depending on the color of the aerosol. When you look at a cloud, what you're seeing are cloud droplets. That's what's reflecting back to your eye. And every cloud droplet that's in there formed on an aerosol particle. So there's an intimate connection between aerosols and clouds. So that you can't really study one without the other. And it really teaches you to think on your feet. I've had a blast up here. You're either in cloud collecting data or you have a great view. It's been kind of nothing but a pleasure uh, working up here. It's been fun to like branch out and learn new things. So like a lot of the instruments that we're working with are brand new to me also. Don't be afraid to try new things you may not be an expert in. That's the best way to learn and how the best scientists are, e even if they don't think it's necessarily their field. If you delve into something, it can make you a really good scientist that has very unique perspectives. And on demand together. Football, housewives, football, housewives, football, housewives. Whoops. Oh, no. The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just who flips the table? Get your TV together. Call 1 800 Direct TV to save up to $120. Twas a night at the Home Depot Thank you. at every location. A night when our stores see a grand transformation. We bring out the tools you really do need, like snowmen and string lights and plenty of trees. We work through the night preparing our splendor for Black Friday savings all through November. And what you do next is always fantastic because we have the tools to make your holiday magic. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. A thin painted line. The only thing between you and a life-changing accident. 
but are these lines enough? A Subaru with eyesight watches the lines for any danger and can automatically stop itself. Is everyone okay? I'm okay. Your family is safer in a three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes Subaru, Subaru. The winter sun. It's a ticking clock. Where shorter days mean a precious countdown has begun. So chase the sun and seize the season. Because when the days are at their shortest, it's on us to make them the fullest. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2022 Cadillac XT5 for around $4.89 per month. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. Spicy buns, spicy sauce, spicy seasoning, spicy jalapenos, ooh, spicy fries. Boy, Arby's getting loose with the spice on the new Diablo sandwiches and fries. Arby's, we have the meat. Hey, Peloton, step into your power. Let's go. Ah, you didn't come to work out. You came to outwork. Let's get it. Yo. Boom. You must do this for. Come on, you got this. Everyday man's on the block. Hey, no challenge, no change. The ting goes. Let's go. Get up to $300 off accessories. Terms apply. Halftime at Hudson Valley Community College and Division Three Union has a one-point lead on the University of Albany, 30 to 29. Roger Wyman, Michael Johnson Jr. And I tell you what, Michael, if you're, you're Union, you charged into that locker room. You've got a one-point lead on a Division One school at halftime, feeling pretty good. Yeah, a classic case of the underdog has uh, nothing to lose here, Rod. Right? You know, when I compare it to a 16 or one in the NCAA tournament, it feels like that. They have a one-point lead. They've been even on the boards with rebounds. Union's in this game with 20 minutes to go. Let's take a look at the uh, first half stats, Michael, and there you see the rebounds. That's the key to me. Is that you Albany should be dominating the boards right yeah. now. It's even at 19. Field goal percentage pretty even. Uh, neither team, well, was it uh, three for 13 for you, Albany, from behind the arc? Union is one for four from three point range. And Union has a lead in the paint at 20 to 12. So let's see what you, Albany, does in the second half. Turns up the heat defensively, and we'll see if we have a different second half. But right now, Union has the lead 30 to 29 on ESPN. Plus. And as we go to a break, how many times? As U Albany redshirt freshman quarterback Reese Poffenbarger won the CAA Rookie of the Week. I know. Do you? That's I I I am. With DirecTV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Whoops. Oh. The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Who flips the table? Get your TV Thank together. You. Call 1 800 Direct TV to save up to $120. The winter sun. It's a ticking clock. Where shorter days mean a precious countdown has begun. So chase the sun and seize the season, because when the days are at their shortest, it's on us to make them the fullest. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2022 Cadillac XT5 for around $4.89 per month. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. Mexican spices made for nacho cheese sauce, only at Taco Bell. This book 
has helped me reach so many young homeowners who have become their parents. Hey, what's the lowest you'll go on one of these mugs? Well, remember, there's no haggling in stores. Ah, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. chapter six, yep. yep. They may have read the book, but they still have a long way to go. I hoping to get your John Hancock on there. Well, let's just call it a signature. I noticed there weren't any refreshments, so I'm just gonna leave a couple of snackies. Folks, the line's a shambles. Let's tuck it in. Sir? Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, right. Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Okay, we don't need a line monitor. I'm gonna work you like a rented mule, brother. I'm trying to protect him and the ranch. You're gonna do exactly what I tell you for the next four years. You wanna know the real price for protecting the ranch? I don't think you do. Stop thinking that you have a chance to earn redemption, Jamie. You're in my prison now. Yellowstone on Paramount Network. What makes for a great story? A great story has magic, power, and every once in a while, it has miracles. It needs an opening that sucks you in, and a mind-blowing ending that has you hanging on every snap. That's what makes for a great story. And as luck would have it, that's our story. So the trivia question was, how many times has Reese Poffenbarger won CAA Rookie of the Week? And he just won it again today after his performance on Saturday. The answer is B, six times, a whole bunch. Not quite eight, but... If you had six for the red shirt freshman, you yeah. were spot on. And uh, you, Albany, getting a big win over the main Black Bears at Casey Stadium on the last play of the game with no time remaining. Yep. 23 21 touchdown to Julian Hicks in the middle of the end zone. I think we had a pretty good call on that, too. That was right? fun. That was, that was a fun, fun game to game. be a part of. Yeah. Absolutely, Rod. And you, Albany's lost so many close ones this year. It's nice to. See the Great Danes pull one out, get one at home. Uh, and off to uh, Rhode Island for the UAlbany football team for the final game of the season. Well, here we got Union with the ball. And to start the second half, and UAlbany is down by one to Division Three Union. Let's see if they don't turn things up a little bit in the second half. Now, Union runs some sets where you have to pay attention to what's going on. That's Aaron Cummings, though, dribbling one off his foot. Drum goal quickly back the other way. Daquan Davis, Aaron Reddish, Jonathan Beagle, and Sarju Patel, the starting five, to begin the second half, and a whistle on the floor before the shot on Cummings. I don't think either team got to the foul line much in the first half, did they, MJ? No. It didn't feel like all. there were a lot of foul shots put up. You Albany attempted six. Union attempted three, Roger. Only nine combined yeah. foul shots in the first half. Well, don't let them play. Didn't blow the whistle much. Reddish misses down on the blocks. Rebound to Noon. Brian Noon, Mike Manley. And that shot is good by Aaron Cummings, Edward Baptiste, Justin Regis. The starting five back in the court, and it's 32-29 Union with the lead first minute of the second half. Davis to the lane, sets up nicely the three by Drumgold, too strong. Beagle gets the rebound, and he is like double teamed as soon as he gets the ball on the blocks. And they're going to call a foul on Justin Regis the senior from Cedar Grove, New Jersey. Two quick team fouls on the on the Dutchman. It's clear the defensive approach with Beagle, Raj. They're not going to make him feel comfortable at all. They're going to have two bodies near him or guarding him at pretty much all times. Radish on the baseline. Bounce pass to Drumgool. Got the big size advantage on Noon. Goes up for the shot. Draws contact. And Drumgool on a foul by Regis. That's two on Regis here. Three team fouls. Drum Ghoul will go to the line. Now, if I'm if I'm you Albany now in the second half, I, I'm getting the ball inside. I mean, I love the three, but I'm going. We we can score at will in the paint, and I know this is a three point shooting game. But in this game tonight, 
when I've got this big of a size advantage, yeah. you know what? We're overloading one side, and we're getting the ball down low. Whether I'm going, to, I'm going to Jonathan Beagle just about every time down. Or, or Kettner, too. Or right? Kettner. One of the two. Or right? drum goal. Post because drum goal up. You, the more threes you put up, great. If they go in, awesome. If they don't go in, then missed shots are going to add up, and Union will have opportunities to extend their lead. A couple of made foul shots. It's 32-31. Union by one. And there's a turnover. Patel in transition. Drum goal, cross-court pass. Now they dump it into Beagle. Working in on Cummings. They double-team in Beagle. Bounce pass down inside, and Drum goal is fouled. He's fouled by Baptiste, and that's what we're seeing here. They got, they, you get the ball down low. Let's take the ball up strong, and if nothing else, we get fouled and get to the line. Got to get some more foul shots yeah. up. Yeah. You know, as we said, neither team really getting to the line much, but that sometimes that's a product of not getting the ball down inside enough and taking it up strong and drawing contact. Agreed, Rogers. This is only the ninth free throw attempt for the great dance. Trumgool makes the foul shot. And that ties the game at 32. I love to play analysts on TV. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's pretty fun, right? <laughs> You're not wrong, though. Truth if you want to attack I'm, the circle, it's an advantage. Behold, I always wanted a coach. Yeah, I can see that. But, you know, just wasn't in the cards, yeah. MJ. Right. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Tied at 32. We're two minutes into the second half. We're at Hudson Valley Community College. Roger Wyland and Michael Johnson, Jr. Coming. Spins on Beagle. It's a good move with the left hand. Just didn't finish. Good hustle by Union. Cummings tried to save that from going out of bounds, but that was a good-looking move by the 6'4 sophomore baseball player. Yeah, how about that, right? Uh, another one of those two-sport athletes on this team for Chris Murphy, right? Has a spin move. Beagle did a nice job recovering, making that uh, an uncomfortable finish for Cummings. Davis, the dribble out front, has his ball picked away by Regis, and the left-handed layup is good. Took it right away from Daquan Davis and laid it in. And Union back on top by one, 34-33. Beagle down low. That's the, right there's the play. Hi, right, coach. That's an entry from the wing to the post. Yeah. Every time down. Give me a timeout every time I'm feeding the blocks. 35-34, UAlbany by one. Manley, their best player, throws it away. Turnover. On the Dutchman, and here comes Beagle. And I'm certainly going to run the floor. And there's a hole in the lane, and going right down through it is Juice. Sarju Patel with the bucket, and you all but up by three. 37 34, three minutes in. Cummings top of the key. You all but has picked it up defensively, although Manley wide open there. Lucky that didn't drop. He can shoot that thing. In and out, no good. He had too good of a look. It was a good screen to get him wide open. Drum goal for three, and it's good. Boy, we've seen that so far early in this season. Drum goal making threes. And you Albany goes up by six, 40 to 34. And now a timeout by Chris Murphy, who senses the momentum swinging to the Great Danes. We'll take a timeout. Six-point game with 16.38 to go on ESPN+. Plus. Take home a souvenir for six. Follow your team wherever they go. Handle any curveball. Then find something new to cheer about. No matter where your team takes you, go with heart. Go with Southwest. It was a night at the Home Depot at every location. A night when our stores see a grand transformation. We bring out the tools you really do need, like snowmen and string lights and plenty of trees. We work through the night preparing our splendor for Black Friday savings all through November. And what you do next is always fantastic because we have the tools to make your holiday magic. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. With DirecTV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives, football, housewives, football, housewives. Whoops. Oh, no. 
The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk! Who flips the table? Get your TV together. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV to save up to $120. Back at Hudson Valley Community College. College basketball presented by Jersey Mike's. It's 40-34. to 34. You, Albany, after down by one at the half, have taken a six-point lead here on a timeout then called by Chris Murphy. And we got a whistle away from the ball on a hold on Daquan Davis. And that is two on Davis. Third team foul. On you, Albany. And let's see what Coach Murphy drew up out of the called timeout. Right, You call a timeout, you're drawing something up. Let's see what it is. That's McGee to Noon. Noon at the foul line, and he hits the 15-footer. A little off-balance 15-footer. 40-36. to 36. Maybe that was the play, right? That's his game. Noon likes that mid-range around the, the yeah, free throw line. I'm not so sure that was. Yeah, maybe not. But uh, Noon took an I open did. look, and he made it. Took too long for that play to develop for it to be the play. Drum goal. Down inside. Passes back out. Reddish has it. And that pass inside was just wasn't high enough. Not a good entry pass from the left corner by Reddish. And a turnover. Hanley. Into the lane on Juice. Goes up with the right hand. Misses. Rebound Noon. Put back is good. Brian Noon. All-conference player in the Liberty League along with Manley. And it's back to a two-point game. 40-38. to 38. Backing in, Beagle. Working on McGee. They're going to double-team him. Somebody's going to be open. That somebody is Reddish. And he hits the three. And I love that game. Get the ball inside. You feel the double-team. Somebody's got to be open. And you yep. look opposite. And there's Reddish with nobody near him in the corner, and he buries it. And it happens to be uh, Reddish, who's now uh, the first player for you, Albany, in double figures with 11 on the night, Raj. Good find by Jonathan Beagle. He's got great court vision. 43-38. Noon. Left elbow. Shot no good. Patel gets the inside rebound. He'll push up to Reddish. Extra pass. Nicely done. And the three by Juice. Set up by Aaron Reddish. The extra pass right there. Reddish could have taken that shot. Gives it up one more pass for an even better shot by Juice, and he buried it, 46-38. And Reddish is having himself a nice, a nice game so far, Raj. He's been red hot. That's a selfless play to get the extra pass to his teammate, Juice, who Might buried be, it. Uh, U. Albany's biggest lead right now Yeah, of this game. Regis somehow with the left hand. Justin Regis somehow. It's a good answer. Pissed that off the glass to answer back and back to a six-point game. Yeah, eight-point lead was the biggest of either team so far in this game, Rod, for the Great Danes 30 seconds ago. Thank you, MJ. You've got the computer up and operating nicely tonight. <laughs> I liked it better on Saturday when a computer right in front of my face. Drum goal, long three. There we go. Reddish hits threes. Drum goal from the right side. And now the biggest lead. They're up by nine, 49-40. 13.40 to go. Manly answers. Or was that was that Manly or new? It was Manly, right? Yeah, That was Manly. Manly. There was two guys over there. It was yeah. Manly who took the shot. And he drains it. And he's in double digits, too. Yeah. 12 for Manly after that three. With the drive. Love the way Daquan Davis can get to the rim. Yeah. We saw it Saturday night against Siena at MVP Arena. We saw it in the, uh, the Townsend game. Seen it every game. He has the real ability and fast off that dribble. Oh, a little slip screen and wide open down low. And the jam is Aiden McGee. 
And Union not going away. 51-45, a six-point game again. Davis getting into the lane. Passes to Drumgool on the right wing. Nice feed down inside. There's the inside advantage. And there's Beagle turning, laying it in with the right hand off the glass. 53-45, UAlbany. Good awareness on the spin move by Beagle, right, to, to not allow the defender for Union to, to strip the ball from him. He kept the ball high, finds that window off the glass, and an easy finish. Regis getting a screen from McGee. Still dribbling at the top of the key and now passes to Noon. Noon a little pump fake on Juice. In the middle of the layup is good. Little finger roll by Edward Baptiste who gets into the lane. And it's 53-47. Great Danes in front. Davis right at the foul line. Back to Drumgool. And a bump out front by Regis. And that's going to get us to a timeout. 12.02 to go in the second half. U Albany 53 and Union 47 on ESPN+. Plus. Lyle Thompson is now the leader in career points. Eleanor Purrier with her first title at the mile distance. From the parking lot. And the Black Bears have upset Stanford. Shuck it all. In college basketball, UNBC makes history. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers. Better with Pepsi. Get yourself to class. You show up for meetings at home and at work. Your flex is making time for yourself and your community, no matter what. Soon, CDTA will introduce its biggest flex yet with added mobility options that let you bike, scoot, and share. Wherever you go, however you choose to get there, you can count on CDTA. We're here to keep you safe and the region moving forward. One hot dog? Seriously? Hot dog. It's better with Pepsi. <sighs> now we're back at Hudson Valley Community College, 53-47 in favor of the University at Albany. Great Danes basketball sponsored by SEFQ, a division of Broadview, a proud partner of the Great Danes. The Bone and Joint Center, an orthopedic excellence and exceptional care. And NYSCOBA, representing over 30,000 New York State employees and retirees from the Security Service Unit. You Albany ball out of the timeout. Juice goes right down low. Kettner layup good. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, that's how you do I it. I see you, Coach. You go down low to either <laughs> Kettner or Beagle. I mean, the signs well, advantage no, there. They, they can't match right. up. It's, no. Union's playing exceptionally hard and really exceptionally well. And they're a very well-coached team, but... The size advantage. Total mismatch. Yeah, and, and the rebounding was tied at halftime, 19-19. See what it is at the end of the game. Inside rebound by Marcus Jackson. Quick outlet at Meade up to Juice. Juice sets up Jackson. One pass to Reddish. He drives in with the finger roll and no whistle, no foul. Rebound Union. They are letting him play a little bit. Regis for three, in and out, no good. Scramble for that ball, hustling after it. Jackson comes up with an outlet to Reddy's Crot court, court, court pass. And juice for three off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound on the inside to Manley. Boy, they are really letting both teams play. Bodies flying, attacking the boards. Not necessarily a bad thing to hear a lot of whistles. I love it. 
Uh, the physicality of these games is, uh, as long as it's consistent from the yeah. beginning, I'm all good. Yeah, the final 10 minutes is when you're going to see it the most, and you're starting to see it right now. Six to shoot for Manley. Leans in, blocked by Reddish. Patel comes out with it. Juice straight to the rim with the right hand. Misses the layup. Rebound Union. Rebound to Baptiste. 55-47. Coming up on the halfway point of the second half here at Hudson Valley Community College tonight on ESPN+. Plus. Noon across the lane. Missed and the rebound to Reddish. Up to Jackson. And right back to Reddish at the 10.05 mark. And a man defense really by both teams the entire way. And Meade quick into the rim. Kicks out. Open look. Patel off the back of the iron. No good. Kettner the rebound. Back up strong. And he does draw a foul. And Kettner will shoot too. When we come back out of the timeout with 9.47 to go, 55.47 on ESPN. With DirecTV, I can get live TV and on demand together. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Football, housewives. Whoops. The housewives are on the field. I repeat, the housewives are on the field. I just want to talk. Get your TV together. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV to save up to $120. The winter sun. It's a ticking clock. Where shorter days mean a precious countdown has begun. So chase the sun and seize the season. Because when the days are at their shortest, it's on us to make them the fullest. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2022 Cadillac XT5 for around $4.89 per month. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. So that's just a Klarna payment being super protective. He stays close by when you shop, giving you buyer protection on every purchase so you can shop safely at any store. It's a very serious job. <laughs> Here is the uh, road ahead for you, Albany. There's a lot of road games. St. Joe's, Austin P. Then they go to the Sunshine Slam, Florida Atlantic. Here, American University on the road. Kettner, Kettner at the line, and the first shot is up and good. 56-47 matches their biggest lead of the game at nine. Union, if you're just joining us, Union was up by one at the half. Very tight back and forth first half. Well, not back and forth. UAlbany has the lead the entire first half until the end. And then Union went to the locker room, all charged up. Kettner, one and two, but the rebound by Drumgool. And the putback is good. And UAlbany taking advantage now in the second half of their size advantage. They now open up an 11-point lead, Michael. Yeah. Biggest lead of the night for the Great Danes. See a lot of good scoring early on for these first ten and a half minutes, Raj. Inside noon on Davis and count the bucket one. And a foul on Daquan Davis. I tell you what, very impressed with the offensive sets that Chris Murphy runs in the half court. Yeah, he's got some well-designed plays here, right, to get some of his guys. There's no like, question. Like Noon and Manley, their mm -hmm. shots, and that was a nice and one and, and a good answer, and and Noon pending the free throw right here is up to uh, 13 points. Well, 14. The, the top two scorers were Manley and and Boone, or Noon, and they, they're the top two, right? Yeah. Eight-point game, 58-59, 19 to go. You Albany in front here at HB. CC, the new home of the Great Danes, at least temporarily for one year. Drum goal off the mark. It went off the front of the iron. It came right out to Fulmer. And with the left hand, he is fouled on the way to the rim. Lamar Fulmer, a freshman. Got some freshmen here that are going to be 
good players in this Union program. He's one of them. Nice job, and again, you see Union oh, down as many as 10, right? Uh, still fearless in how they attack, and, and like you said, Chris Murphy's got his sets, and, and Union's had some good transition plays, Raj. So this is Lamar Fulmore. Fulmore, the junior, or the uh, freshman at 5'9". And he's got the first 58-51. Out of the Bronx, New York, this young man, a left-hander, misses the second, Kettner. Skies for the rebound. Ed Mead, crossover, quick dribble, Grumdul for three, no good. Kettner hustled after that rebound, and he hit the floor hard. And we've got a foul on who? He's, he's calling that foul on, on He's got it on Kettner, Kettner. Kettner yeah. exactly. Signal 11. With a hold, I guess. Hold, going, yeah, going in his up position, the trying to get the, re yeah, the, the rebound, too, yeah. So Tyree Kettner, Huss, picks up the foul, and that's how many on Huss? His first. Okay. Union has 16 fouls. U Albany has four. 8.50 to go. Crossing midcourt is Fulmer. Guarded by Ed Mead. Up top to Cummings. He's another freshman. Aiden Cummings is a physical player in this program. 6'5", and got the ball at the top of the key off to Fulmer, another freshman. And a whistle on the drive and a foul, a blocking foul by Ed Mead. That's five team fouls on the Great Danes. Non-shooting foul side out. 8.33 to go. 58-51. Bobby Jordan filling in for head coach Dwayne Killings tonight. DK be back on the sidelines Thursday on the road at St. Joe's. Heading to Philadelphia, MJ, on Thursday night. You're going to be a busy man starting with that trip. Noon, a little fade back on the left side, no good. Weak side rebound, Grumdul. Outlet left wing, Ed Mead back to Grumdul. Inside they go. Kettner straight up for the shot. No good. Jackson gets a nice rebound. Passes it back out front. Kick out drive by Daquan Davis to Drum Ghoul, and he hits the three. And it's a 10-point game. 61-51. Manly for three. Boy, he's not afraid to... You talk about catch and shoot. That's a catch and shoot right there. 61-54. That's a great answer, too. Drumgool up to 20 points on the game now. And an offensive foul on Drumgool backing in on Brian Noon. And still an eight, only an eight-point game. 7.36 to go. We've got an eight-point game here at HBCC on ESPN+. Plus. with her first title at the mile distance. Darren D from the parking lot. And the Black Bears have upset Stanford. Shuck it off. In college basketball, UNBC makes history. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> at the University at Albany, we see greatness in you. There's passion and purpose, a fierce curiosity ready to blaze big ideas and tackle the tough questions. We see grit, drive, determination. The University at Albany is home for dreamers and achievers just like you. The world needs greatness, and you are one of the greats.
but for one hot dog? Seriously? Hot dogs. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> Back at Hudson Valley Community College. College basketball on ESPN Plus presented by Jersey Mike's. And we still have a game here, MJ. It was 7.36 to go. New Albany is up 61-54. to 54. Union hanging around, hanging tough, right, Rod? They've been able to, they've been able to battle and, and, and stay with it, right? Coach Chris Murphy's had very good sets, like we talked about, and they're very active on the defensive end of the floor. Drum has been hot, right? He, he's clearly been the Great Dan's man scorer through the first uh, some odd games here to start the season. He's got 20. Well, he's also, been that averaging guy, right? a 22 a game. Yeah, yes. He's been very efficient, especially from beyond the arc. And what did he play last year? One game and got injured? Mm. Nice to have him back, certainly, and he has been a factor here early on in this season. 7.26 to go. Union ball out of the timeout, down by eight. Manley to Cummings. Cummings in on Beagle and off the glass and in. Aaron Cummings. And it's a six-point game. Down low, Beagle working in on Cummings with the right hand. Beautiful move by Jonathan Beagle, the freshman. 63-56 and an offensive foul. That was pretty clear there as Noon tried to get to the rim and pushed off. And a good job by Marcus Jackson for taking that charge. Yeah, nice job by Jackson stepping in front. He saw Noon charge and got himself set. Took that charge well, and uh, Beagle up to 13 for the game, Raj. That was too Any, easy Any time one of my 7th or 8th grade travel kids would get a charge, I give them 10 bucks. I say, anybody who wants to take a charge, you're getting 10 bucks. Well, you talk about wanting your we players had, to put yeah. your body on the line. <laughs> and a nice drive. Can't finish, though. Davis almost dropped, but there's Beagle cleaning up the boards. Offensive rebound. He wanted a foul along with that. Yeah. But the bucket is good on an offensive rebound and put back by Jonathan Beagle. Back-to-back -back buckets by Beagle, 65-56. Uh, Albany 6.26 to go. As this game is also being simulcast locally on local radio. It's therefore, a need to give the time and score a little bit more often for those. Of course, who right. Are watching it right now on ESPN+. Plus. Go back to Beagle for a sec, Raj. Nice again and showcasing and further representing what we talked about all game long. How dominant he's been down low. 15 points matching his jersey number uh, on the night. And uh, it doesn't even doesn't need to be pretty for him. He can just do a little bit of a turn, a little bit one step and turn around. And, and Beagle, again, is only a freshman. But uh, there's a reason why he was CAA Rookie of the Week for you, Albany. i tell you what, the way uh, Union is playing tonight, they, they should... They should win a few games. I'm surprised the way they defend are defending tonight. They gave up so many points to, to uh, Gordon. Gordon College. Yeah, right now, I mean, having the great dance with 65, with 618 to go, you'd absolutely take that if you're Chris Murphy. Well, if he was looking to see improvement in his team defensively, I think he's seeing that tonight. For sure. Manley makes both, 65-58, 613 to go. Drumgool, top of the key, passes right side to Reddish. Back out to Drumgool. Gets a screen from Beagle, uses it into the lane. Backdoor cut. Patel layup is good. That's a high basketball IQ right there. Get in the lane, and Patel, juice, makes a good move backdoor and gets an easy one. Nothing prettier than a good backdoor pass, right? Drumgool as a distraction, finds juice. Made a great cut. 67-58, and another bucket, the answer. At the other end by Edward Baptiste. Six, uh, seven point game, 5.35 to go. And Chris Burphy urging his team on to get a stop. Drum goal. Into the lane with the left hand miss. Tip no good by Beagle. Out with it comes Fulmer. And good hustle defensively getting back to knock that away and create the turnover by Aaron Reddish. Patel for three, it's good. Back to a 10-point game. 70 to 60, 5.05 to go. Another guy that's not afraid to shoot it and shoot it quick. We were talking about Aaron Reddish and Sarju Patel. Juice has got a quick trigger. That's a great three on that transition possession. Noon with a nice drop-off. And right over the front of the rim 
Laying it in is Edward Baptiste again and back to an eight-point game. Noon guarding Drumgoul. Now to Reddish. Baptiste on him. Reddish, little jump stop in the lane, spins with the right hand and scores. The athleticism of Reddish and back to a 10-point game. Athleticism and the length there, Raj. Just oh, able yeah. to use his, his wingspan and just completely shield. Long three, good. Manley, can, he can shoot it. Up to 20. And it was pretty good defense, I thought, by Baptiste. Got the hand up. And Manley pumped up. As he should be, right? Union hanging around down seven with four minutes to go. Davis with the dribble, 15 to shoot. Passes to Drumgoul. Beagle pushed way out into the corner. Now he's going to take his man in, and it's off the foot of Albany. And a turnover with 3.44 to go, and that gets us to immediate timeout. 72-65, UAlbany on ESPN+. Plus. Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza has caramelized crispy cheese edges and a soft, chewy center. Do you love it, Matthew Stafford? I'm not a walking billboard. Okay, never mind. Pizza, pizza. Get Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza for just $8.99. Pizza, pizza. It was a night at the Home Depot Thank you. at every location. A night when our stores see a grand transformation. We bring out the tools you really do need, like snowmen and string lights and plenty of trees. We work through the night preparing our splendor for Black Friday savings all through November. And what you do next is always fantastic because we have the tools to make your holiday magic. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. Have you said a merry little Christmas? Let your heart be light. From now on, our trouble will be out of sight. Unlike the other guys, T-Mobile has price lock. Switch now and we won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. Player of the game for the University at Albany, Jonathan Beagle. The Sefcua Division of Broadview, player of the game. And one of the numbers tonight, MJ on Jonathan Beagle, the, the uh, freshman from Hudson Falls. He got himself his first career double-double with the Great Danes. Raj, 15 points, 11 boards, 7 of those rebounds. Coming on the offensive glass, also shooting 7 of 10 from the field, 70%. Pretty efficient from the field tonight. For number 15, the freshman for the great dance, Jonathan Beagle. But this game is still in doubt, right? This game is still in limbo here. 72-65 as Union has played tough tonight. D3 against the D1. The D3 trying to show the D1 that we got some game too, and they've done that. Noon working on Jackson to Manley. He'll shoot it from anywhere. Manley with a drive. Looked a little out of control there, but they're going to get Jackson. Didn't, didn't have himself set. They're going to call a foul on Marcus Jackson. And that's going to put uh, a Manley at the line for a one-and-one. One. Jackson goes out. Patel comes back in. For Coach Jordan. We will talk to the winning head coach on ESPN Plus at the conclusion of this game. Manley makes the front end of the one-on-one, 72-66. Second shot, no good, but it's tipped out by Union, and then the ball goes off of Patel. That's good gonna, hustle by Baptiste. Baptiste tipped it out. And, yeah, then they get a foul on Union. 
or on uh, you all, but I believe it was Patel. Yeah, Patel is second personal going for that loose ball. Union is going back to the line. Manley is going back to the line. And he's got the first. That's nine team fouls on you all, but he won more. And it'll be the double bonus for Union. Union has seven team fouls. And he's got them both. 72 68, a four point game with 3.18 to go. This is where if you're the Great Danes, you have to be careful. Union, the bench, everybody's standing. They're feeling themselves right now. Need a good possession on offense. Davis into the lane with the right hand. Got it. It's a big shot. Daquan Davis. Big bucket in the lane. The grad student from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 74-68. Noon drives in. Has the ball blocked by Drumgoole and out of bounds to the uh, to the Great Danes. A turnover there. Probably too quick of a move by Noon for what Chris Murphy wanted on that possession. And we'll see if you Albany can take advantage of another Union turnover here with 2.44 to go. Davis to Patel. Back to the basket to Beagle. Right back to Patel. Dribbles to the left side. 13 to shoot. Reddish right to the rim with the right hand and foul. Good move by Aaron Reddish in the lane. And Aaron will get to the line. And he'll have himself two shots playing really well tonight, Aaron Reddish. Yeah, he is right. He's listed as uh, 6'7 uh, on the depth chart, the stat sheet, right? But his wingspan, he looks like he's about 6'10, 6'11 when he's driving around just uh, holding the ball. Really athletic. And Reddish, you're right, Raj, has had himself a nice night. And Reddish's first shot is up and good. 14 on the night. Chance to make it 15 for Reddish. A couple big threes early in that first half. One more for Aaron Reddish. His brother, of course, Cam, plays for the New York Knicks. Went to Duke. 76-68 in a timeout. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. Acting head coach Bobby Jordan. And on the other side, Chris Murphy. As we begin the... Season number two of the Dwayne Killings era here at the University at Albany, and a, and a really a good start for DK last year. See, 500 in the America East. I don't have the stats right in front of me. It was 13 and 18 overall, but 13 yeah, and 18, but a 500 won. record in conference. And yep. I yep. just th think this team can be a factor in conference play. Looking forward to it, without question, right? You know, that's our cliche saying in college basketball, Raj. The season doesn't begin until conference play starts. We know how good the America East is, right? We were talking about before Bryant, right? Yeah, and once they get through this game tonight, the schedule gets a whole lot tougher. I think there's a Start. road trip to Virginia coming yeah, up here, too. It starts Thursday at the Philly to oh, take on no St. Joe's. No doubt. But first things are first, surviving yeah. a Division Three school who has come to play big time tonight. A lot of respect. And there's a nice play on the left side of McGee. Just couldn't finish it. Wide open and a layup. And Aiden McGee would like that one back. Right inside. That's the, where, that's the place to go and go into Beagle and let him do his thing. And he draws the foul, and he'll be back to the line shooting two shots. 12th rebound for the, of the game for Beagle, Raj, and uh, a tough sequence for McGee, right? Open look, then down. He, he's got to deal with Beagle and unfortunately commits the foul. Beagle, the freshman from Hudson Falls. He would have been a high pick on our News Channel 13 All-Star team here yeah. in Albany. Yes, he would have. But he was at prep school. We That's never, right. never That's really right. got a chance to see right. him do his thing. Uh, Honestly, the first time I saw, saw him play was the opening game a couple of weeks ago at Towson. Yeah, and he impressed there. He was. Jonathan's got both of them. And it's a 10-point lead now with 2.08 to go. Fulmer back to Manley. Nice feed to McGee, but a nice block. By Beagle, but then another block, and they call Jackson for a foul. Or is it out of bounds to uh, you all? Out of bounds to you all, but a great block by Beagle. 
Great passing by Union. And McGee had it, went up strong, and then Beagle went right in there and got the big block with 155 to go. And UAlbany up by 10 and the ball. Union does distribute the ball well as a team, Raj. Daquan Davis with the drive on the right wing. No good on that drive, and the rebound out to Manley. They'll need some of his threes and a foul on, on Davis, or that's what you don't want to do, foul and put Manley at the line. He's a pretty good foul shooter. He is. 134 to go. And two foul shots here make it an eight-point game. Five of six at the line tonight for Manley. Two more coming, Raj. I feel like uh, you Albany has shortened the bench to a little bit here in the second half. Yep. Guys like Beagle, Reddish, no. We haven't Davis, seen much of Trey in the second Drumgool, half. Drumgool, right, have gotten a lot of minutes. Juice as well. And Manley, as we predicted, would hit, would, hit, would bury a couple of foul shots. Murphy called, Coach Murphy calls a timeout. It's an eight-point game with 134 remaining. Well, look, if you're you Albany, you, you don't, you know, you <laughs> in a perfect world, you come out here and blow them out. But Union came to play tonight. It played extremely hard, extremely well. And uh, you, you Albany having to dig down a little bit, come out of here with a win with uh, 134 to go. And absolutely right, Raj. A guy led by a guy that we talked about in pregame, Mike Manley, who's got 25 right now. He's been right now he's been very good at the line right seven of eight at the free throw line he's had a several big threes not afraid to shoot it and uh like you were saying earlier this team could get some wins this season yeah and i also said this too not making excuses at all for you albany but they, they are coming off a very emotional tough hard game yeah. in that albany cup just saturday night yeah. you come out of that you go one day to sunday and here you are monday playing this hungry energetic team division three team that would just love to knock you off, yeah. you know? Knowing and in the scouting report that you're coming off of a loss in the Albany Cup where emotions were high, exactly right, right in front of 9,500 in the MVP arena. Patel. Full court press by Union. Patel's calling a timeout here. Didn't That's a find, wise didn't, timeout. Didn't find, yep, it is because no one was open. And they'll huddle around Coach Jordan to draw something up here to make sure they get the ball in bounce. Hey, there's not sometimes there's not that big a gap between a division three player and a division one, right? Sometimes, I mean, you, you look at Daquan Davis, perfect example, right? I mean, and you see him how, compete and play well at the division one level. How does Davis look to you at the D one level? He looks very good. He does. Love how he drives and, and attacks and, and finishes at the rim. It's hard to believe that he's only got four points on the night, right? How many assists does he have? He's got three. Okay. Big shot a few possessions ago, though, when Union was feeling hot. And he extended the league from four to six. So full court, man-to-man -man press, not guarding the inbounds. Juice gets it in to Reddish. Manley is on him. Now they're going to trap the ball. They get it away to Patel, and they break the press. Drumgool did not want to shoot that. They are, they should, and they will work some clock here. Right? Be patient. Ten seconds to shoot. One thirteen to go, and you're up by eight. Beagle to Reddish. Reddish pull up in the lane. Good. Aaron Reddish, little pull up Jay in the lane, and it's a ten point game with a minute to go, and this will be tough for Union to overcome that. Good extension by Reddish on that play, Raj. Shooting it over Cummings. And a turnover by the Dutchman. Eighty to seventy, forty-nine point seven seconds to go. No question second half, a concerted effort to get the ball in the inside here a little bit for you, Albany. What's the rebounding edge right now? 
as we have a foul, and Beagle will go to the line. Well, but he's got it by 7, 36 to 29. Okay. This was 19 19 at yep. the half. Yep. So 17 uh, to 10 Union, out rebounding him. Uh, Union shooting, well, Albany shooting 50% from the floor. And Union shooting 47%. Yeah. Uh, 4 of 10 from 3 for Union, 9 of 24 for the Great Danes. It's a lot of threes. Yes, it is. A lot of threes have been thrown up for the uh, the Great Danes. Drum Ghoul, obviously, has made several, been the leading scorer for the Great Danes, but uh, they have made good adjustment going down low, and Jonathan Beagle's had himself a nice second half. You all, but he could be better at the line. 65%. Yeah, they need that. That, that will need to go up. Juice has, what, one of two? 81-70, 11-point lead, and you all been about to get their second win of the season, even things up as Manley. <laughs> oh, boy, he doesn't stop, does wow. he? 28 uh, on the night for Mike Manley. A little step back three, not giving up with 36 to play, cuts it to eight. Crazy the, things happen, I guess but so. I mean. <laughs> I, guess, I guess the uh, play-by-play guy shouldn't call the game just yet, huh? I do that. What's Manley do? Drains a three. Timeout. What's that? The old announcer's jinx? <laughs> it's like a field goal in football. Yeah. He's, he hasn't missed this one inside 30 yards. Chris Murphy's got to like what he sees from his guys, though, tonight, Raj. They've competed. Bobby Jordan, too. I mean, offensively, he's got to like what he's seen, too, right? And, I mean, it's and the defensive adjustments have been there. Not all wins have to be pretty. No. Win will show up as a win on the stat sheet. Give just the team momentum going to get out of here road. without a loss. Right. Look over the film, and, and it's it'll be it, what is today? Monday, and you, you're playing Thursday on the road, so you're going to leave Wednesday. Yeah. So it's another it's another short turnaround to play a good St. Joe's team on the road. Yes, it is. Right. Yeah. That head to Daytona. Right. Head to American at the end of the month. One more game here against Florida Atlantic at the end of the month. Man, you look at this Union team. You look at Brian Noon, man. He's out there right now telling his guys, look, we're, this game is not over yet. Absolutely let's not. Get a, let's get a stop here. And they had some good full-court press. I mean, Patel didn't look too comfortable inbound to the ball both times. So had a call timeout. They just got it in Reddish last time. I, and I do think at the end of the day, if you're Dwayne Killings, you, you, you want your team to be challenged, right? You only get better by by a team like you here just challenging you and competing and, and making you play at 110%, yeah. right? You don't get better unless you face you know, adversity, especially just, early in the year. You know, you can't come in and just take the night off and expect to get a win. And I think at halftime they realize that. They're down, but remember, Union had a one-point lead at halftime. Right. And they actually had a lead at some point in the second half, too. Was it 32 yeah, 27? Early, early on, right? And, and, and you Albany has 52 points in the uh, in the second half. But Union also with 43. Lots of scoring. You Albany needs to make some foul shots here, though. Because Union is going to put them at the line. Yeah, 67% as Drum, Drum Ghoul's at the line right now. And he's got the, the front end of the two shot foul. Jackson comes in, and he replaces Davis. One more for Drumgool. Makes them both. Clutch foul shots by Gerald. Back to a 10-point game with 30 seconds to go. Yep, you knew that was going up. <laughs> Manly As if there was missed. A doubt. Nice rebound. Hustle rebound on the inside. Baptiste. Still playing hard here. Eight-point game and another foul as Noon fouls Drumgool. I think he got him in the face a little bit on that foul and then said, sorry about that. Just playing hard. And they'll walk to the other end. 83-75, just 20 seconds to go. Coach Jordan should have had a could have had a win against Towson too. Oh yeah, ended up being a five point loss. Know, they, multiple they, leads, the final five minutes was crazy. And you all but he made a couple of threes late in that game and made some foul shots. Uh, that could have been a win in game one. Great Tans really haven't been out of any games. Just that scoring drought against Siena kind of put them away. But you know, 
Dwayne Killings and Bobby Jordan had this team competing. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Reverse well. layup by Baptiste and a foul by Noon, who probably doesn't need to foul with 4.6 yeah. seconds to go. That's exactly what Chris Murphy yeah, was Kurt saying. Kurt Murphy's no, saying no. You're, you're, you're good now. We're, we're, yeah. we're not coming from uh, 10 down with 4 seconds to go, but credit his team. They're just playing hard right to the very end. Got to respect the effort here from the Dutchman tonight, right? Being able to put up 75 against Division One school in New Albany who plays in the America East, right? Being able to battle and hold your own, but uh, both teams' leading scorers, Trum Gould and Manley, both had some pretty real, uh, pretty good games tonight, Raj. And Coach Murphy getting uh, some guys in the game here. And Drumgoul finishes things off here for you, Albany. Yeah, Drumgoul 10 for 10, a perfect 10 for 10 at the line. 87 75, and that will do it. Hard fought game, though, here at That's HBCC. But you, Albany, comes on top 87 75. That will even their record at 2 and 2. And a road trip to St. Joe's on Thursday. And we'll bring over head coach, acting head coach, Coach Jordan, for a little post-game interview. He'll probably have to take your spot here at the scorer's table. Coach Bobby Jordan. We'll bring him right around here. Can he get through? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Another win for acting Coach Bobby Jordan. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what. They, uh, Coach Jordan, congratulations on the win. Uh, didn't come easy, though, did it? Didn't come easy, Roger. They um, they made us work really hard tonight, um, especially on the defensive end. Uh, the kid Manley's a great player. Uh, we knew coming in he was a guy we had to stop. Uh, a lot of, like the guys we faced in some of these other games, just nonstop movement, a guard that can really shoot, can get in the lane. Um, I thought we didn't take up the challenge on him today. Uh, that's something that we need to get better at, especially going into Thursday night. Did you make it? Did you make an effort in the second half to get the ball inside and attack the glass a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing at halftime we talked about is I thought our bigs, uh, Hus Kettner, Jonathan Beagle, Japana Kellogg, I thought that they were the only ones that came to play for us. They came out to play hard. They did their job. They were physical inside. They did the game plan that we talked about. JP gave us energy. Hus gave us a physical presence. Beagle was all over the glass. Um, so that was the biggest emphasis. Our guards didn't deserve to get anything in the second half. And that's why we want to go inside right away. Yeah, and plus, you, and plus you had the size advantage anyway on them. So that was a good coaching move. You're down by, actually down by one at the half. What did you, what did you tell your guys at halftime? I'm, we, we talked about defense. I think that was our biggest thing. Uh, you know, we knew we were going to be able to score in scouting them. Uh, you know, we thought we could get at the basket. We thought we could be, like you said, more physical inside with them. It was all about our defense. Um, you know, I thought Aaron Reddish stepped up at times tonight and really just you know, keeping keeping us active on the defensive end, getting some deflections, getting us some steals, and allowing us to get out and run a little bit. It was also a quick turnaround after an emotional high game in front of 9,500 at Siena. Maybe that was had a little something to do with the, the slow start. Yeah, I mean, we, we had that similar experience at Immaculata after playing Towson. Same thing, an emotional game where we thought we were going to, you know, had a chance to win at the end. Same thing with the Siena game, um, you know, but... You know, we're going to play a back-to-back -back next week down in Florida, and yeah. our guys got to be ready for that. And it's on to St. Joe's on, on Thursday, Coach. Yeah, back to Philly. There yeah. you go, back to Philly. There Good to go. see you, Bobby. Thanks yeah, not, not nice work tonight as uh, UAlbany gets it done. And for uh, Michael nice. Johnson, Jr., MJ, I'm Roger Wyland. So long from Hudson Valley Community College. As you see the final stats here, 50% uh, shooting for UAlbany. The rebounding edge in the end after 19-19 at the half goes to the Great Danes. Uh, the points in the paint. 
point in favor of Union, 40 to 36. And uh, Union shot 41%. U Albany shot 37. But uh, I thought the uh, rebounding in the second half and going inside was the difference in this game. And Jonathan Beagle played very well, the freshman. And so did Manley for Union. Enjoy the rest of your night. Union uh, loses to you, Albany, here on ESPN+. Plus. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. We don't really want war. All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. Fate only binds you, you let it. We will make our own destiny. Amazon offers free technical training programs to help employees advance into higher paying careers. I was looking for a new start and I found out about this amazing program. They'll train you from the ground up. My salary has increased three to four times. I'll remember that chapter of my life forever. We laughed. We cried. We protected that progressive home and auto bundle day and night. We were all of us dazzling. Like knights sworn to protect our kingdom. We knew it wouldn't last forever, but that's what made it special. I know we'll be back tomorrow, right? Yeah, but it'll never be today again. Just get on the ball floor. It's a beautiful time for basketball. Jason and Jalen. A night of dynamic duos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the air with Jay Young. Championship contenders. Celtics, Hawks, and Warriors, Suns. Wednesday on ESPN. Sports, thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals.